Uh, it is a welcome home Wednesday here and our real estate expert Seth O'Byrne joins us here once again this morning to uh, well talk real estate and to talk uh, some of the more beautiful homes uh, here in town. How have you been? I've been great. Yeah, it's been great coming hot off the heels of Labor Day weekend. Okay, well, ready to get back to work? I am very much ready to get back to work. In fact, yeah, we sold three of our listings uh, on Tuesday. We sold over the weekend, so I was working a little bit over the weekend, but that's a real estate game. You know what? Probably a subject for another day, but I mean, just because there's a holiday mixed in there doesn't mean that people aren't uh, buying and selling and looking for that perfect home then. Oh, of course, absolutely. Yeah, and coastal properties too, they attract people that are in town for vacation. So, as wild as it seems, some people can come in town, see a home on a Friday, and write an offer on a Sunday. Yeah. Well, normally, uh, you know, we sit here and we, we chat and we throw a few pictures up, but you yeah. produce something a little uh, extra special for us today. Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited about this video and, and we were excited to bring it on TV because we thought the viewers would really enjoy it. Well, it is TV, so uh, <laughs> why don't we uh, take a look at this and then uh, we'll come back and talk. When a luxury developer designs his own primary residence, you know it's going to be spectacular. Sitting atop one of the highest peaks of Carmel Valley, welcome to 5995 Del Mar Mesa. Unlike much of Carmel Valley, the landscaping in Del Mar Mesa is mature. As you drive up the driveway, you'll notice that there's flowers, there's plants, and there's trees hanging over the driveway, revealing this gorgeous home in all of its grandeur. This home is six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, and 6,200 square feet. Though the home is impressive, the family wanted the kitchen to be great for everyday living. There's a beautiful breakfast nook, which overlooks the pool, the outdoors, and the gorgeous landscaping around the home. Overlooking the pool on the southwest side of the home sits the master bedroom. The master bathroom is a relaxing retreat, complete with an oversized tub, shower, his and hers sink, and a huge walk-in closet. The master bedroom has an oversized deck, which is no different than the rest of the home, which has over 1,500 square feet of balcony. The live-in nanny unit sits on top of the garage, far enough away from the home that there's a level of separation for a guest, but close enough to the home that a live-in nanny could be close to the family at all times. Near the entry to the home, you'll notice that there's a staircase which leads down to a private wine cellar. It's adorned with stone to give it the feel like you're in ancient Tuscany. Because the backyard of this home is on one of the highest peaks in all of Del Mar Mesa, there's complete privacy in the pool area. The pool actually overlooks the Del Mar Grand and some of the most impressive homes in all of Southern California. In addition to the long drive and circular driveway, this home features a four car garage with one oversized bay, which would be perfect for a boat or a car collector. Striving to create something that is unique and has its own feel, the architect struck a perfect balance between Southern California Tuscany and contemporary. <laughs> oh, man. We're both just sitting here. You've seen this before. Yeah. That was my first time. I'm just blown away. The, yeah. the video marketing that you do for your clients, uh, just nothing short of spectacular. We really enjoy it. I mean, it, it's, it's easy for us because it's one of my most favorite things to do. Um, and so for us, we're excited. When we get a great property, it gives us the opportunity to go out and do things like this. Uh, you know, we jump at the opportunity. I, I, I've got to let people in on a little, I, I think, yeah. a cute little tidbit here. <laughs> When you buy that house, you're actually um, at a slightly higher elevation than Doug Manchester, a yes. name that people might know here yeah. in town. You look down on his roof line <laughs> down there, which I think now, is spectacular. Now, Doug Manchester's house, to be fair, is unbelievable. 
um, from what I've seen from the exterior. The, the, the Meadows is the residential section of the Grand Del Mar. The Grand Del Mar Hotel and, and golf course actually has uh, residences around it, and his is one of them by far the most impressive. Well, here's uh, the, the website right here and all the contact information sure. for our expert, Seth O'Byrne. Uh, if folks want to get together with you for a private showing, fantastic, you'd love that. And, and if they want to list a home, certainly that is the kind of quality and the, the type of uh, attention to detail they can expect from yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's always good to have you here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, upcoming listings? Yeah, we got quite a few upcoming listings. Yeah, we have a couple more that are kind of at this caliber, but we also have some affordable ones. We have a little two-bedroom coming up in Pacific Beach, and we have a three-bedroom coming up downtown in the Marina District. So we've got a lot of good stuff coming up. Great, Go yeah, full sure. wide spectrum, but we'd we love to show you some of those sometimes that we just showed you. Just <laughs> It's fun, and who knows? You know, that might be the perfect house for somebody watching this morning. All right, so get in touch with Seth. And in the meantime, if you need more information, you go to San Diego6.com and you click on San Diego Living. All right, coming up, raising a glass to fight breast cancer, how a local brewery is joining the cause and opening up their treasure chest of craft brews. And then, surviving evil, an actress who survived an attack at Torrey Pines is sharing her story and the stories of other women who were victims of violent crimes. From Baywatch and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charisma Carpenter joins us.